I say it was just a bad, bad night. I honestly don't think that's what he thought. You know, hey, you're okay, so I'm gonna, gonna do this to you. That's what assault victim Mallory Owens had to say about the attack that some, including her own mother, said was a hate crime. Owens is in a relationship with the suspect's sister, and her mother claims the Hawkins family disapproved of the relationship and that her daughter was beaten because she was gay. New tonight at 9, the suspect's family is disputing those claims. Hawkins' family attorney says Travis Hawkins Sr. and his wife Bridget accept the gay relationship between Allie Hawkins and Mallory Owens. They had invited Mallory to spend Thanksgiving Day with them because they were bringing her into their family. Mallory Owens' mother disagrees. She told Fox 10 News her daughter was attacked because of her sexual orientation and that Hawkins' family stood by and let it happen. Oh, yes, I know they don't approve of it. This is not the first time he's attacked Mallory. Although Hawkins Sr. didn't reveal much about what happened at this home on Thanksgiving night, he did say the attack was unexpected. The family attorney, Peter Byrne, says Travis Hawkins Sr. broke up the fight seconds after it began. They spent a nice day, had a nice Thanksgiving day. At the end of the day, and with no warning, Travis Jr. attacked Mallory. When he did, Travis Sr. intervened as promptly as he could. Owen says she doesn't remember much about the fight, but she does say she does not believe her mother's claims. I don't see that happening. I don't see them sitting there and watching me get beat. I don't think that. Byrne says the family disapproved of Owens in the past, but it had to do with her, quote, conduct, not her sexual orientation. As a person, Mallory is a very likable person. We care for her very much. Um, Junior was instructed clearly that if he had any problems that he was to uh, not come to Thanksgiving. Hawkins Sr. says he has spoken with his son, but he wasn't able to go into detail. He's really broken up. He's, uh, He's realized, I think, at this point, you know, the gravity of what he's done. And um, uh, okay, I know he said. That's enough. Tonight, Owens is back at the home where the attack took place, recovering from her injuries with the help.